Good evening, everyone. This is Stephanie Araujo with TheOutspot.com. And tonight we are here at SOB's covering the Faces in the Crowd Showcase. Stick around as you watch the artists on stage as well as their interviews with me. So we're going to get the showcase started. Everybody by the back, grab your drinks. I want you to make your way up to the front of the stage. Everybody on the side over there, chill, look cool. I want y'all to make your way over here. We're going to make sure everybody that touches the stage tonight feel like a superstar. Yeah. My niggas is chasing their dreams in the sky. But what they don't understand. My niggas grip up and they ready to blast. But what they don't understand. But the whip was back. I put on for my man. This shit was already planned. Black being with a whole back. I'm riding so fast, so friends. We just got off the stage. This is Q Gambino. He is representing Brooklyn. Tell me a little bit about what you just performed for us tonight. Um, I performed two of my singles, uh, Don't Understand, which is out on the Value of a Dream mixtape right now. Okay. And uh, did that come out? That came out about a month and a half ago. And the other record, Make It Out, is going to be featured on my next mixtape, which will be out in the next couple of weeks, called the Muddy Mob Compilation. Is that the single on there? Yeah, that would be the main single. Uh, the video, Both videos are out now on YouTube. So, you know. so uh, how long have you been doing this? Um, I've been writing music forever, but taking it real serious since about last year, around December, November. Then, I, you know, I really put the foot in, like, all right, this is my year, and I'm going to make it happen. Yeah. What's that daily grind like for you? Um, it's hard. Because it's the independent thing, you know, so it's no manager, everything is based off of me. Yeah. So I'm writing my own emails and everything, but you know, it's a grind. What's the, what, 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 what fuels that for you, you know? Like, um, what brings you to that point of, yes, like, you know, if you weren't doing this, what would you, what do you think you would have been doing? Honestly, not sure. It's keeping me out the streets, and uh, my daughter, that's my, my number one motivation. Yes, that's you know? beautiful. Let everyone know where they can find you and where they can find your music. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, at Q Gambino, Q-U-E-G-A-M-B-I-N-O. Uh, I'm on YouTube, I'm on SoundCloud, same thing, Q-U-E-G-A-M-B-I-N-O. And um, a Spinrella, that piff, uh, Value of a Dream is out now, my mixtape, live mixtape, so... for forever and we were in a musical theater group together and then we met Mia through a mutual friend and we had just been grinding, it was just the perfect fit and we have been grinding, working it out ever since. That's beautiful. What yes. music do you ladies make? Because you know sometimes I feel like we have so many female rappers, it could be a versatile a versus thing, oh, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We're definitely like a mix of all the female groups, like the female rappers, definitely like the three main, like Beyonce, Nicki, Rihanna. We have a little bit of rap, a little bit of R&B, like a TLC almost kind of like that. It's so beautiful, I'm so looking forward to yeah. So like R&B pop music. Yeah. Yes. So on a daily, like what would you say your routine is? Like how like how long do you guys perform? How do, like before before oh sorry it's okay before before a performance like this how long do you guys practice prior to? Why don't you walk them through it? Walk them through. Okay, so basically on a let's say three days a week we're in rehearsals we're doing vocal lessons we dance too so oh my God. yeah so you we guys have do your own choreography no we have a choreographer who's kicking our ass and making sure we're in shape. 
and then uh, we do that and then like this past month we've had you know four shows so oh, that's yeah so you know in between shows we're doing a show then we're tweaking it a little we're rehearsing and we're doing that segment three times a week and then we do another show and then we were here this time last month so it's um, a little variation of what we did last month so it's the same type of flow. Every, every show that we do we look at our footage critique it see what we can do better um, and just always keeping keeping on our toes being ready and what can we expect for you ladies tonight we're gonna do three songs for you guys one of um, some of which is gonna be on our new project um, and we have one song called burn it up that's one of my favorite songs and then we're doing um, you, this other song called you can't sit with us that's like oh my God. yes 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 of course so it's like a little our kind of play on like what the inspiration was kind of like our version of like Beyonce 7 Eleven, so it kind of has that vibe. Nice. And then we're doing one other song, which is. Boss. boss. I'm a boss. Um, and you know, self explanatory. Of course. Women, bosses, doing their thing, killing the game. That's beautiful. So let everyone know where they can find you and what's your social handles. Okay. So you can find us anywhere at Magic Online, M-A-J-I-X Online. That's Facebook, Twitter, and then Flipagram. It's M-A-J-I-X Magic the Band. That's it. Thank you so much, ladies, and best of luck. Interviewing Juju, she just got off the stage. That was phenomenal, girl. Oh my God! Please tell me you you had multiple pieces. What were those? Um, well, I introduced first um, Quiet Storm, okay. which is um, I actually went viral um, October 19th with my son in my arms. Yeah, so I hit a million views in a single day, and now I'm at 3.5 million views. Um, the next track that I introduced was called Only in America, and then I had the Strange Fruit, and then Thank God. And is that single off of a new album that's coming out? Yes, I'm currently working on my EP, and it's called Find an Eye. Um, the I stand for my son Isaiah because that's what I felt like I found myself like so. It's a finding an eye and like finding myself as well. So yeah, yeah. And when is that coming out? Well, the project is almost done. Like I have probably like two more tracks that I'm debating on putting on, and then as soon as that's done, then we're gonna go ahead and release it. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Um, how have you evolved as an artist? As an artist, I mean, I'm just constantly working, putting in my work. I've been writing for so long that it's like. How long have you been doing it? Um, since I was. 11. Wow. Yeah, so it was it wasn't something that I like took serious, but then as time went on, like everyone started to see my talent and they're like, yo, you need to like really, really push You really are talented. Thank you, I truly appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Um so in the future, like what other events do you have coming up? Um, I do have some more shows that's that's coming up. Um I have a project that's dropping. I have some photo shoots and I have some videos that's you know coming on its way as well. So let our audience know where they can find you. Yes, yeah, so you can go ahead and find me at um, my Instagram, Juju underscore beloved, and my Facebook, Jalisa Capech, that's J A L I S S A, last name Capech, C O P B A G. Everyone. We're here at SOBs. We're with Kaleo, Daniel, Elijah. These gentlemen just rocked it up there. Uh, piano player, guitar, uh, drummer, rapper. Please <laughs> tell me about what you guys just performed. Okay, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, we did two songs. One of them's called Pamper, Pamper Me, and the uh, other one's called There That Boy Go. Pamper Me is more recent. Uh, I did that just a couple months ago and just released a music video for it, so you should go check it out. It's called Pamper Me by Kaleo, K-A-H-L-E-O. And then There That Boy Go, I did last summer while I was in New York, so living here. And how long have you guys been collaborating together? 
Um, we've been playing together for like maybe about two years, but we just started like like playing with Eli like Elijah for maybe like a year or so. Had a couple shows, and it's just been it's been a good time. It's been a good time. Yeah. yeah. So when is your recent project coming out? Um, I'm actually I just filmed five music videos, and they're all filmed. Uh, one of them just got edited and done. That's a pamper pamper me, but there's four that still need to be uh, released. Um, so I'm also dropping an EP with that because it's going to be five songs. Um, but they're all just like really showing how I've evolved as an artist. Uh, two of those songs will be on the uh, EP, so yeah. So if you feel like if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? <laughs> Honestly, like I would probably be working in uh, film. Um, I have a long history of like working in film, probably directing or like editing music videos, but I also would love to like do management too of artists. But I try to bring the whole like surf element to everything because I'm from Hawaii, so it's like I'm trying to bring like this whole persona of like the surfer rapper and this whole kind of like the surf and skate world to the hip hop world. So yeah. Nice. So let everyone know where they can find you. Yeah, so my name's Kaleo, that's K-A-H-L-E-O. You can find me on Instagram at Kaleo Music um, or my website KaleoSpeaks.com or YouTube Kaleo. Um, and let, let Daniel. Yeah, um, you can find me as Danilo Music, so it's spelled D A N Y L O Music on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. Oh, I've. I'm, I'm around. I'm just playing with people. I'm, I'm around. You can find me at a neighborhood near you, probably. Yeah. You know social media? No, nah, I'm, I'm showing on social media. But like, I'm, 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 I'm proud of you. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, we're here at SOB's. Tyrex Porter just got off the stage. To be honest, fire. The energy that he just brought to this stage, amazing. The crowd was enthralled. Please tell me, what did you just perform? I performed my new song, um, No Regular Shit. I ain't even, actually ain't even put it out yet. Oh, I don't no? even know, nah, I ain't even put it out yet. Wow. I just been performing it lately to, just to see the crowd reaction. And I performed the Don't Run Freestyle that I got out yes. right now. That was also amazing. Yeah, the Don't Run Freestyle was the one that just got me on high ninety recently so nice. I ain't really been taking the music serious that boy I mean I must but now I am so yeah that's, that's fantastic as you should you're so talented yeah, honestly so um how long have you been rapping my whole life I just started really like just really pushing with it right right now though like, right now I've been rapping my whole life though I come from 139th and Linux you know Big L, Camera, and Max B all of them from over there so it's a big influence on my life so we got to do something to get a body there understand what I'm saying yeah yeah um so when when do you think you're gonna be releasing this new track? Because this is this is fire. You need to release it. I, I'm doing it this week. I got. I'm shooting. I was gonna shoot the video first and then put it all out as one. Yeah. I let a few people hear it. Like I performed it. Excuse me. Um, Sunday at Milk River. Mm -hmm. I just did it. Milk River. We just did K Slay Showcase. I came in second place actually. Wow, it was like 30 artists there, so it was, it was definitely good. So I'll probably awesome. release that this week or something. Or most likely this week. I'm shooting a video this week for for, for a fact though. Yes. Definitely for a fact. What uh? What's your what's your behind that you saw what what's your vision behind that behind a video i'm gonna lie just energy good <laughs> energy <laughs> good energy of course good energy and just basically when you listen to the story it's kind of, i mean when you listen to a song i'm kind of telling like a story so i'm gonna incorporate some of the footage from like my block and everything that we've been going through coming up like we got a lot of footage that we've just been catching so i'm gonna just try to put a lot of it in one and then we just gonna put it out there for the world like that of course. Yeah. What's your what's your daily grind like? You know, um, I've been, I've been what's what's your show. routine like? Let's say, give me a breakdown of of, like a week of, of that of, yeah of your daily. Like, what's that like for you? I've been doing basically studio, mm -hmm. studio showcase, showcase things like that. Like I'm here just like my third show this week. Then I'm then we got the after party and Aces the night. So if y'all coming out, we we in there tonight too. Yes. We've been working very hard this Congratulations. week. Congratulations, you're you so, so talented. Thank Best of luck man. to you and everything. Thank Let our best audience best. know where they can find you. This, um Pyrex underscore underscore Pyrex P on Instagram, SoundCloud, Porter 140, Insta I mean YouTube, Pyrex Porter. We in the building in Harlem. You can find me on 39th and Linux too if you're looking for me. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. Right. Good evening, everyone. We're wrapping up Faces in the Crowd Showcase here at SOB's. We had a fantastic show this evening. We saw performances from boy bands and girl bands and, of course, rappers. You know SOBs, where hip-hop legends are born. I want to give a huge shout-out to Shalon and Reality for organizing such a fabulous event month after month. 
great job, guys. And I want to give a special thank you to SOBs for allowing us to be here. To learn more about the artists interviewed here today and to stay updated on The Elf Spot, follow us at TheElfSpot.com. I'm Stephanie Araujo. Make sure you two network and be recognized. Stay tuned.